Hey viewers, it's Michael here again and welcome back to Single Racer. Now, luckily for me, the heat wave is temporarily over and boy, is it over. In Victoria, we average about 50 mils of rain in December, but we've had anywhere, depending on where you live in Victoria, anywhere from 50 to 200 mils and it's only the 3rd of December and we've had almost wintry conditions it's about 16 degrees now and i am absolutely very happy about that too so what i'll be trying to do is do not only my normal videos but maybe a few extra videos and i'm hoping to get more out while the cool conditions last and so this video is one of them with a simple question that is for the viewers watching this video, can you remember your first ever sim racing game? Now, I've mentioned a couple of times before that in my case it was the 1990 game Stunts. But I'm actually not asking for that reason specifically in the sense of sim racing. I'm asking the question, what would be a great game for your kids to start learning being a sim racer? And what I mean by that is, I'm not talking about teens or in your early 20s, but is there a game that you would want your kids now to start learning to become a sim racer later on, if that's one of your passions and you wanted to pass it on to your child? Well, I think there is, and that's what I'm going to cover here. And so the game or games that I'm talking about is a two-part series, which is Ford Racing 2 and Ford Racing 3. Now for the demo here I'm going to mainly be talking about Ford Racing 3. And the reason that I think this is a still a great kids game is for three specific reasons. Reason one is that on easy it's very easy. So for a child not to get too frustrated uh, playing a sim racing game where it's just, you know, like a modern game where it's just too hard and they are put off immediately. This game on easy mode is very easy. But on hard mode, this game has such a learning curve to it that even for me, <laughs> on hard mode, you really have to try hard to win. It pushes you to the limit. But the difference is it's not ridiculous hard or silly hard it's you have to drive well hard, you know, in the truest sense of what hard should mean. And the second and arguably most important reason why this is a great game for kids is because this game, being so old, still works under Windows 10. There's nothing really complicated to get it to run. It, it runs very smoothly and although it naturally looks dated in its graphics as you'll see later, uh, it runs perfectly fine under Windows 10. So if you can manage to pick the game up either say in what we here in Australia call cash converters or a, a second hand op shop type store or eBay or you know one of the other uh, selling places that sells second hand stuff. Uh, it's a great game to pick up and you know should only be like five ten dollars at the most. Uh, might even be on Steam. I actually haven't checked if it's on Steam, but uh, it could even be on Steam, so give it a try. And I highly recommend it from that fact that it still runs on Windows 10. Now, I'm recording this audio separate to the video, so I just took a break to check on Steam, and yes, they are selling this game on Steam for $5. So there you go. Uh, a great cheap game for your kids and the third reason that I recommend it for your kids is because this game is perfect on a keyboard. Now I don't own a console so I don't have an Xbox controller and I imagine that would be pretty good too but this is one of the rare games that is not so good with a wheel but only in the sense that it's a dated game so the wheel feels very vague. You know, you tend to swim around a lot and don't have good control. But I still really enjoy playing this game on a keyboard just using the arrow keys. And so to me, as a not a game for a teen or like early 20s, but for a child that you think might have an interest to become a sim racer later on, this would be the perfect way for them to play because you don't need the wheel set up. You just put the keyboard in front of them. They can play and crash, uh, 
you know, there's no damage, so you just hit the wall and bounce off and keep going. It's the perfect game for a, a child that you think might have an interest in sim racing later on. And so compared to games nowadays, this might not seem like you have a lot of cars and tracks, but you actually do considering the age of this game. It came with quite a lot of cars, especially given that it's called <laughs> Ford Racing, so you only got Ford cars. So from that point of view, it's got more than I ever expected. But let me now just show you uh, an example of me playing one of the tracks with one of the cars and I'll pause on the car menu to show you a lot of the cars that you can choose between and this is just me playing on the keyboard just you know having a lot of fun with it and uh, the replay afterwards so I'll leave it with you uh, take it for what it is it's a great game for kids if you think you're interested and so I'll say see you later I'll catch you next time and of course, let's go racing, specifically for kids. Or of course, for people like me, who are kids in adult bodies. <laughs> See you later. Single player. Ford Collection Standard Performance Car Selected Colonial Run Track Selected Let's Race
You lose.